Welcome back to Lightworks Tutorials. Once again, thanks for your support, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, right now, in this tutorial, however, we are going to be showing you guys how to use basic functions on the timeline in Lightworks. Now, I have a video that overviews it, but it doesn't go into much depth in the functions on the timeline as you can see here so what I mean is the little symbols that come along when you hover your cursor over the video bar or the audio bar as you can see it goes from the sideways H to the weird looking U sideways U it goes from the two-sided arrows and back to the U and the H again. So what I'm going to do is show you guys what these mean and what effect they can have on your video. So what we want to do is we're going to start with the H. So the H works by if you have two videos on either side of each other as you can see. This is my Far Cry 4 video and my stock footage there. So what you want to do is hover between the cut of both videos until you can see the H. Click on it and as you can see now it's made two screens. One of the previous video and one of the next video. And it's kind of split it in half as well. Now using the arrow keys, either press the right or the left arrow key to see what it does and as you can see if you press the right arrow key the video the stock footage of people walking is now extended and and the Far Cry 4 is now shortened and as you can see the this all happens in the same time period so between two seconds and 10 seconds as this doesn't change so you can either extend the stock footage and shorten the Far Cry 4 or you can do vice versa the opposite you can either change the Far Cry 4 the next one the sideways U so once you hover over a video click on it and as you can see now the video of the people walking is now over the top of the Far Cry 4. Now why is this? It's because as you when you move the with the using the arrow keys again now it makes the stock footage longer but does not change the Far Cry 4 video as it continues to be around 5 seconds or you can do it vice versa you can hover your cursor over the Far Cry 4 video and click on it and as you can see now if we would move it using the left arrow key it needs to be left arrow as this is opposite now it makes the video longer but still keeps the length of the stock footage the same and to shorten it use the right arrow key as you can see now it's going to be shortened and lastly the two sided arrow keys is where you can move the video or the sections of videos along the timeline as you can see so you can move from one end of the audio bar to the other as you can see if you have an audio and you can move the and you can move the video along the timeline as you can see so there we go guys that's a very basic overview of what the different symbols on the timeline do so now you can edit your videos using basic edits and don't guys don't forget to check out my other one it's called basic video editing in lightworks lightworks tutorials 3 um, it should be on your screen now so that's all for now guys I do hope you enjoy please leave a like share subscribe if you really like this please ask if you want more and comment below your problems so I can answer them or make a video on them so it will be for the benefit of others right guys see you soon